Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showing you how to make your own soft shutdown script. If you, don't, if you don't know what that is already, basically it allows you to restart all of your servers in your game without the need for shutting all your servers down or losing any players. Okay, let's show you what this is basically. So if I get my world up, and if I press the three dots button to press shut down all servers, normally this would disconnect all your players from your game. However, as you'll see, we're going to send the player off to another server, a temporary lobby. And then we're going to send the player back to a regular server. As you'll see in just a moment. As you can see, we're now in the updated server. And we haven't lost any players. Now I'm going to show you how to make it for yourself. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to make our message. Now I'm going to make mine like this, however you can make yours however you like, it's completely customizable. This is going to be the message that says, the temporary lobby, we're restarting the servers, just don't leave, please wait. A message like that. Then we're going to display that on the person's screen using this GUI. So you can customize it however you want. I'm going to name my message and have a simple frame and a text label. You can copy mine if you like. If you are going to make a custom GUI though, it needs to be named message and have a text label of where you're actually going to display your message. That's just the criteria. We can't make it any more customizable than that. Okay, that's the end of our GUI now. Let's get into the coding. Okay, so the first thing we need to do so now to go into service script service and insert a regular script. From this script, we need to name it soft shutdown. And then we need to exit the script and we need to drag our message GUI from the starter GUI to the soft shutdown script. Okay, we've now got to the part of the video where we're going to script the actual code that does this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert our teleport service, the player service and the run service. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the message GUI that we place as the child of the script. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the function that allows our code to create a new message for the player. Basically this function clones the message into the player's player GUI and that's the area of the screen where they can see where all the GUIs appear on and then we change the message of the text label to be the message that we want to display. We'll use this function later in the script. So the thing we're doing here is we're checking if 
the game that we've been teleported to is the temporary lobby or not. The uh, temporary lobby is a reserved server. So that's basically a private server, so a VIP server, but without an owner. So we're seeing if it's a VIP server, but without an owner here. Yeah. And this is the actual script now that teleports the player to the regular game. So it says, this is the temporary lobby, do not leave. And then it teleports the player to the original game. So here, what we're doing is we're seeing if there's any players already inside the game. So it might take like a second for this script to actually start working. So the player might have already joined in that time. So what we're doing is we're getting all the players who have already joined in the game and we're teleporting them away as well. Okay, so in this piece of code here, we're going to teleport all the players in the game to the reserve server once the server is being shut down. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see if the game is in studio or not. So that's in the test mode. Players cannot teleport in studio, so if we do try to teleport them, it will cause an error. So we don't want to do that, so what we're going to do is we're going to see if it's in studio, and if it is, then it will not run that script. If it's not, then it will continue. Now, the bind to close function fires or continues once the game is being shut down. So basically, all the code inside that will be run once the game is being shut down. Now, inside that code, we're reserving the server, so we're making our temporary lobby. And then we're going to teleport all the people inside the game to that reserve server. And then here again, we're going to display that nice message saying to them that we're now going to reboot the server to a newer update and they should not leave. And then we're going to teleport the player to the private server, the reserve server. Now, a player might join while the game is being shut down. Now, to avoid that causing an issue, we're going to get any player who joins and we're going to also teleport them to the reserve server, our temporary lobby. Again, we're going to display that nice message and then teleport them straight away.
Now make sure you get these brackets right because for some reason Studio didn't automatically place mine in. So make sure you got them right. And now this bit of code here will stop the current server from shutting down until the whole reboot sequence has been finished. So all it's saying is while this plays inside the game, wait a second. And then once there's no players in the game, then it will stop the server. So that's the end of the scripting section. Okay, now that's the end of our scripting bit. So if we exit all the scripts in, and then if we publish our game, we should see that once we test it, the soft shutdown system works. Let's go straight into testing. Okay, we have now finished our soft shutdown system. We pull over our game and press the three dots at the right. Press shut down all servers. We should see that the message appears giving a warning that it's doing an update. We're now going to teleport to the temporary lobby for the reserve server. And then we're going to teleport back to the main game. Congratulations, if that all worked, you have finished your soft shutdown system. Congratulations. I really hope that video was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe if it was helpful. And hit that bell notification icon if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Yeah, thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.